Our Kashipa journey has taken a different turn because where we are right now is nothing like where we've been over the past few days or even probably where we will be over the next few days because here we are going back 30,000 years. So, we are at Bhimpatka. These caves, the local used to say that this is where Bhima came and stayed. We don't know. But we do know caves contain layered paintings, just like Mahabharata's layered text. These cave paintings were there, the cave shelters have been there, but they were not given the importance they actually deserved. Britishers thought that they were very late paintings. But it was Vishnu Sridhar Vaghanka, a famous archaeologist. He was traveling through the train and when he saw the shelters, he saw that they resembled the cave shelters of Spain and France where numerous paintings have been found. So he decided to excavate. He did excavate the this place 1950s and he discovered a lot of stone age burials and a lot of archaeological material which clearly showed these paintings were very ancient and still he had to prove it to the world he did prove it to the world he developed a methodology to study the layered paintings here and he also found ostrich egg beads in burial sites Bhimbetka is that ASI has made wonderful displays. Look at this display for example. Everywhere these displays are beautiful. They are very informative. Look at this display for example. They have done it with such a artistic notion that they have made it like a tree and then there is this display. So these displays are good. I wish they have made display at each and every rock shelter. That is not the point here point here is to nitpick a small but important fallacy that happens whenever people illustrate evolution. Here you can see the evolution of uh, humankind starting from uh, Ramapaitikas, Australopithecus and then go on Homo erectus and classed Homo sapiens. But the problem here is it is shown in a linear way. Evolution does not happen in a linear way. It should have been better if they have depicted it as kind of a branching tree. So, if anyone related to this is watching this video, please make sure change this kind of displays of evolution from linear to tree-like structure. That is what actually Darwin also said. In fact, they have talked about the common ancestor. 
from the common ancestor things branch out branch out branch out and we are there at one particular branch and no branch is superior to another branch let us remember that in our mind over 700 rock caves have been discovered in the bimbetka region but about 250 of them form part of the core bimbetka rock shelters for all intents and purposes this place is a jungle just as it was all those thousands of years ago when humans lived in these caves and interacted with the landscape around them the many cave paintings that adorn the walls of bimbetka detail out exactly what these interactions were and how they took place we enter the place which is like a big auditorium and let us look at this famous as the child of a mesolithic uh, hand of a mesolithic child Isn't it interesting that this particular tradition still continues? The tradition that we place the hand marks as auspicious marks in the entrance of our houses, in the entrance of our uh, trade establishments, and wherever. In Tamil Nadu, for example, during the month of Kartike, when we celebrate the Kartike Thibam for Murugan, women immerse their hands in turmeric and they. put this kind of uh, hand marks in the walls of the houses so here you have proto image of a cultural tradition that lives across india and what tells us that they have made a very beautiful display there where you can actually place your hand and check how much bigger or smaller your hand is with respect to the hand of the mesolithic child a very ingenious way of making people think about the old times and relate it to the present come here is the hand of the mesolithic child let us see my hand is a perfect fit with the hand of a mesolithic child i think perhaps i haven't yet evolved grown or perhaps i'm still a child at heart whatever the bimbetka rock shelters are situated at the southern edge of the vindhyachal hills just south of this area you can see the satpura hills rise the area is dense and abundant in flora and fauna of all kinds have here here for example is a fascinating scene you have a red pigment horse rider along with you can see a uh, white pigmented uh, soldier standing on the ground this is a very interesting collection of both styles and what else is there there are scenes of animals Look here. You can see here a scorpion. It's very interesting. You can. They have seen scorpion and they have put them here. And then what else we have? I am as curious as you. Ha! Here what we have. Let us see. Here. You have very interesting a peacock. You can see that. Or a cow. And you have two dancers holding hands. Let me make an educated guess. Just a guess. I may be wrong. There should be seven 
Every cave has its own mysteries. We need to have the eyes to look at them. Here we are at rock shelter number 9. Look at the painting. You have an elephant. You also have a horse drawn in a very aesthetically pleasing manner, in a stylish manner. You have another person with a kind of a ritualistic ornamental sculpture in his hand. And this scene itself is clearly indicative of the fact that it was been drawn during the interaction of the people here with other communities in the historical times but it is not only that you have certain other interesting things also you can see if you look closely you can see circles drawn with yellow pigments and also you can see five uh, big circles kind of enclosing some ceremonial figures inside you don't know what purpose of it let us just make a small conjecture a small speculation you can see here a natural most probably a natural hole and when the sun was rising the first rays of the sun could go through this and strike there most probably during winter solstices or summer solstices or during the equinoxes during certain special days which they would have marked as important in their observations of the natural cycles then this would have been a sacred enclosure where they would have conducted the ceremonies when the sunlight falls on the first sunlight falling on this circles is it possible possible probable we don't know but what it shows is these cave paintings need multidisciplinary approach so that they can reveal their mysteries to us and a lot of mysteries are waiting for us in this big beautiful silent cave let us see the next from the moment that we stepped into the bimbetka rock shelters a sense of eeriness has dominated our psyche because right here in this place we get access to the very earliest versions of ourselves all those millennia ago <laughs> 